So if you're swimming out there or surfing, you're asking for it. My name is George Burgess. I, I serve as director of the Florida Program for Shark Research. Certain places uh, are, are certainly more dangerous than others if you're gonna bring your, your, your family or yourself into the water. Uh, off of New England now, white sharks are beginning to come back uh, uh, because seal colonies are now coming back. In the 1800s, 1700s, in the United States, there were very abundant populations of, of seals and sea lions, and they were hunted uh, a lot. Uh, back in 1972, the Marine Mammal Protection Act was enforced in the United States, which allowed uh, all of these animals to begin their recovery. And uh, we're seeing the benefits of that, that uh, legislation now, as many of these sea mammals are, are returning to, to uh, former areas that they, they once lived in and uh, returning to levels of abundance closer to what they once had. Of course, as that happens, uh, a large uh, predator such as a white shark, which loves these things as, as, uh, as meals as adults, are going to be following. Uh, while we're happy to get those sea mammals back, we also need to be cognizant that uh, some of these large predators now will be nearby. And beaches that we have owned for a hundred years because there are no seals around, are now going to begin to be ha inhabited by those seals and we may have to uh, move up or down the beach a little ways to go swimming from now on. <laughs>